What's good everybody on YouTube? This is your boy Akil McLeod back with another video and today I'm going to switch things up a little bit and talk about all of my streams of income. Now for me, I'm a full-time entrepreneur so it's super important to have different streams of income because I don't have a consistent paycheck to rely upon every month. So for me, I have about five to six real streams of income that I rely upon every month and sometimes they fluctuate. Some streams bring in a little more money than others but you know it is what it is. Sometimes you just, you never really know especially Especially in today's market where things are going up and down constantly it just gives me that extra peace of mind and that extra security just knowing that I'm not relying on just one stream of income so if you guys are entrepreneurs if you're just you know interested in entrepreneurial content and business type of stuff drop a like subscribe to the channel and without further ado let's get into it all right y'all so my first stream of income is actually affiliate marketing now one of my favorite affiliate marketing programs out there is the Amazon affiliate program now for me, what I like to do, I only like to promote items that I actually have experience with, something that I really do enjoy and I think it might be helpful for other people as well. And it's super easy. All you do is create a link and whether that person use, like buys that item using your link or not, as long as they're using your link and they buy anything off of Amazon, you get a small kickback of whatever that purchase price is. Now, it's like I said before, it's not a consistent paycheck. Um, on average, I make about 50 to 60 bucks on there. Last month, I actually did really well and I made about 150 bucks. Who knows what reason that is. People probably were just at home and doing a lot more shopping on Amazon. But for me, I really do like it because even if I'm promoting, say, a shoe cleaner and somebody buys a printer that I'm not necessarily promoting, I still get a kickback of that percentage. So when it comes to affiliate marketing, especially for the Amazon affiliate program, it's super easy and it's just a really good way to build up some extra money. Now, my next stream of income is actually very similar to affiliate programs, but it's actually more referral programs. Now, one of my favorite referral programs is actually the American Express referral program now I have an American Express card and I spoke about it in a few of my videos and I think that probably just inspired some people to actually check it out and the really good thing about this referral program and other referral programs in particular you basically get paid by referring somebody to joining now there's tons of different referral programs tons of affiliate programs the one I'm talking about in particular is as American Express and the really good thing about it is that you get for me I was getting $75 for every person that I referred and there was one month in 2019 where I made about 400 bucks only because I like people just kept using in my my referral link and they actually got approved for the American Express card and that was super passive all I had to do was create a link one time inserted in some of my videos and it was super helpful because for some people you know they were interested in getting credit they were act trying to build their credit and American Express is a great option as well so it's always a good way for me especially to you know make some money but actually do something good and kind of put people on to something that I'm actually really enjoying and that's why referral programs and affiliate programs are definitely two of my favorite and probably the easiest ways to try to build some different streams of it now another stream of income that I really do enjoy is investments now I'm not super involved in the stock market and I really just started to get my feet wet a couple years ago and two apps that really helped me kind of just gain some more familiarity was acorns and stash now acorns and stash are super similar basically what you can do is just round up your your money every month you can invest a certain amount every month some people do 10 sometimes 20 dollars a week and sometimes you can also just round up your change I know acorns is really popular for that and I just signed up for an account with both of those apps and slowly but surely that money just adds up and for me when it comes to in making any type of investment I always tell people you just want to invest as much as you're willing to lose and thankfully when it came down to acorns I never really lost any money because thankfully you know I'm still young I'm only 30 years old and the younger you start the better off you are because time will be on your side so for me what I really was making money from acorns and stash were really just from dividends some months you might make sometimes five maybe 20 bucks in terms of dividends but like I said that money just kind of compounds over time and it really just builds up slowly but surely now any given month sometimes I might make 20 sometimes 30 bucks depending on the market right now as we all know the markets aren't the greatest but it's still a really good stream of income to have because I was still making money every once in a while and like I said it's also a really good way to save money because all you're doing is simply just investing your money with these programs they're kind of investing it for you and for the most part they're investing it in very very safe stocks and you might I'm not gonna say the money's guaranteed but at the end of the day it's a it's a much simpler 
way of just getting involved into the stock market instead of just going out and buying individual stocks where there's a lot more risk however if you're interested in doing some more individual stock buying i'm also on Robinhood as well and Robinhood is just a way for you to buy stocks um right now i'm not necessarily buying a ton of stocks i was trying to just do some more research because so many people say now is the best time to start buying while stocks are low so if you guys are interested in that i'll make sure i'll put my uh, robin hood link in the description below so you guys can sign up and check that out now another stream of income for me and it's definitely not super consistent but i did see a slight uptick over the past couple of months is social media influencing now when i first quit my job in higher education and i decided to be a full-time entrepreneur i actually thought my main gig was going to be social media influencing but for me it just really wasn't my thing i wasn't really a fan of like taking pictures of my breakfast and like vlogging everything and like not really living in the moment so for me social media influencing wasn't really the best thing for me but i still Still kind of stick around every once in a while and when certain brands reach out to me and as long as I actually like enjoy the brand I wouldn't mind working with them and over the past couple of months I've started doing some more brand deals and the money fluctuates depending on your social media following and like I said I was doing it maybe four or five years ago so at that point I, I gained a, a decent amount of following and sometimes when it comes to brand deals I make anywhere between 200 bucks to as much as 500 bucks depending on the brand deal and like I said sometimes Sometimes it might also include an affiliate link where I can continuously make some money on the back end as well so keep that in mind if you guys you know you have a decent sized following and you want to take advantage of social media influencing right now I think is the perfect time to kind of get involved especially since there's so many different companies out there that's trying to get their brand out to more people since more people are at home and you know it's just a really good way to make some money and it's like I said it's not super consistent but for me at least I've seen a slight uptick and it was even and it was perfect for me because I wasn't, you know, making as much money from my main source of income. So, like I said, just bringing in that extra money from a different stream really paid off. Now, another stream of income for me that I really do enjoy is the platform that you guys are on right now, and that is YouTube. Now, for YouTube, I don't necessarily do a ton of sponsored content. I haven't really worked with too many brands on this platform, but for the most part, I do make money from Google Ads. Now, you you do need to jump through some hoops before you can start making some money in terms of your subscriber count and your watch time but as soon as you reach those requirements and you're able to monetize your channel just based on your views you can start to make some more money and for me that money is definitely not consistent as I would like to but just to give you guys some perspective in my best month I made about 1800 bucks and in my worst month I made about hundred and thirty dollars so it always just depends um, sometimes when it comes down to your CPM which is your cost per mile that's basically how youtubers get paid um, it, it always fluctuates some months is higher than others in the fourth quarter I know you know tons of people are dropping a bunch of money into YouTube to get their ads and you know they're spending a lot of marketing dollars during those times and like I said I made that was when I made the most money on YouTube but I never wanted to get too hung up on that because I never wanted to make content that you guys wouldn't enjoy and I didn't want to make content that felt like I was reaching so YouTube definitely does have a ton of potential and there's a lot of people making a full-time income on YouTube for me I'm not there yet but it's one of those income streams that can bring you some decent money every month and it's a good creative outlet for me to at least you know continue to create and just interact with you now last but not least and this is my favorite stream of income and this is actually my main source of income and that's actually reselling now when it comes to reselling I'm a full-time reseller and I sell on eBay and on Poshmark now for a lot of other people out there that may also have a full-time job reselling could be a good way to just introduce you to you know additional streams streams of income because you can do it as passively as you want or you can do it like me and make it your full-time job and go really really hard with it the good thing that I really do like about reselling is the fact that you can go just about anywhere you can stay at home and you can source online you can buy stuff from Amazon and sell it on eBay and vice versa you can actually go to places like Ross and Marshall's and you can purchase items there and then sell it on eBay or on Poshmark or you can just buy stuff on Poshmark and sell it on eBay. The options are limitless at the end of the day and it's really just about the amount of effort that you really want to put into it. And any given month I make anywhere between ten and twenty thousand dollars in sales solely from reselling. Now like I said that's really just the sales that's the gross income amount. You always have to subtract the cost of shipping and you know the actual cost of the item but for me I make a pretty good living reselling and it's something that I really do enjoy and having additional streams of income really 
really just make this whole reselling game just so much better for me, especially since I'm a full-time entrepreneur and I don't have that consistent paycheck to depend on like I used to when I was working in higher education. All right, y'all, that's all I got for today's video. So if you guys enjoyed that one, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. And if you guys have any different streams of income that you guys may be working on yourself, drop it in the comment section because I'd love to, you know, chop it up with you guys and probably learn some new streams of income from you guys as well. Because at the end of the day, the average millionaire has at least seven streams of income. And right now I'm kind of dancing between five and six. So any additional streams of income is always welcome for me. So if you guys have any ideas, drop it in the comment section. I'll get back to you guys as soon as possible. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. They know what I'm on. Stop with the and give me the strong. Hey, hey, let's go. First back in the day, and so I can't complain. For all the times I pray, carnivores don't come take them. Uh, Cause it's poppin' a pop a tune, I can't salute it. They raising red flags instead of raising solutions. I'm trying to do what's best for me. Okay, right hands on the wall because it's destiny. First time I own with right hand, man, ain't nothing left for me. I left them, see, you can't hold me back like elementary. What's meant for me?